You see, many events have happened in history that we look back at now and we realize we could have changed if things had been different. We look at the Holocaust. We look at different types of genocide that have happened throughout the 20th century. But isn't it interesting? Isn't it very, very interesting that we are living in a time where such an event is happening now and it is happening to a people in a country like China whereby women are being raped, children are being separated from their families, organs are being harvested, people are being put into concentration camps and did they think that we were just going to stand idly by? I want to tell the Chinese government and the Chinese Communist Party one thing. I want to tell you directly. You may be able to manipulate governments, but you cannot manipulate the millions of Muslims around the world. Did you think that you are going to have a minority group in your country persecute them in the way that you are persecuting them? Deal with them in the way that you are dealing with them and that we were not going to get involved? Did you think that you could do whatever you want to these Uyghurs? And that everyone was going to allow you because of your size and strength? Do you think that if you start war, if you start a war with the Uyghurs, that you have not started a war with the Muslims? I tell the Chinese today, with all vehemency and all vigor, you have started a war with the Muslims and we will not live or die until we become victorious in this war. Look at them now. Look at them looking at me. What are you looking at? My question is what the hell are you looking at? You've taken your flag away. You've taken your flag away. The Chinese communist flag. Well, I have a flag that you can replace your flag with. Take this Uyghur flag, you son of a... Duck me! I tell you today, you have nothing to offer the world. You have nothing at all to offer the world. You know why? Because you have already incorporated a Marxist communist system. You've already lost the war against the Americans and the West because you have taken their ideology. You are a prostitute. You are a prostitute, I tell you. A prostitute. And the West is already your pimp. And you know what else? You haven't even been ingenuous to your pimp. Because you know why? They have taken another pimp, the pimp of capitalism. That's your pimp. But let me tell you something. Your best bet is actually to become Muslims. That's your best bet. Your best bet is to do what the Mongols did and embrace Islam. Don't you, believe? you have nothing to offer the world. You have nothing to offer the world at all. What happens if you become a superpower? Tell me what happens when you become a superpower in this cold war that you want to get into with the Americans. What have you got to offer the rest of the world? You've already taken their ideologies. Marxism, Leninism, you are nothing. I tell you, you are nothing. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time until we deal with you. Don't be! And so I say, I say to them, and I say this again, with all vehemency and all vigor, that you cannot 
beat and defeat an enemy that when they look at the barrel, the bottom of the barrel of the gun, they see paradise. We don't care about death, in fact. We don't care about martyrdom. Please make us martyrs. You cannot beat us. We're the unbeatable enemy. You should actually learn from the Uyghurs. You should actually learn from them the purpose of life to worship one God. You should learn from them not to worship statues, not to worship whatever it is you've been worshipping for thousands of years. You should learn from the Uyghurs. Yes, you should learn from the Uyghurs. Because you know why? When you think about it, you're nothing. That's the truth. You're nothing. You've got nothing to offer. And I tell you today that you may be taken off La ilaha illallah from the tops of the masjids and replacing it with your communist flag, the flag of your ideological masters. But taking it off the masjid does not mean taking it out of the heart of the believers. So I tell you once and again, it's only a matter of time. And you may want to start this Cold War with America, which you're starting now. Having the Muslims as your enemies is not a good idea. We're not, yes, look at me, look at me. Having the Muslims as your enemies is not a good idea. And history, as it had in the past, with the Persians and the Romans and the Mongols and all of these. History will tell this story again and you will be defeated under our... about Uyghur culture but I know one thing that we are here for the Uyghurs and we will not rest until justice is served. Oh,